Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Tuesday, August 6, 2024. Our reading comes to us today from Psalms 130, reading from verse 1 to 8. And it says, Out of the depths have I cried unto thee, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If thou, Lord, shouldest mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? But there is forgiveness with thee, that thou mayest be feared. I wait for the Lord, my soul does wait, and in his word do I hope. My soul waited for the Lord more than they that watch for the morning. I say more than they that watch for the morning. Let Israel hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. And I say, Amen. Praise the Lord. I thank the Lord for his grace and for his mercies because if God didn't forgive us if God wasn't a forgiving God none of us would be here today and so this is a very profound and powerful reading this morning and it is such a blessing it is such a blessing and I can just feel the expressive emotion coming from David as he, he recites this because he understood the meaning of it he says what out of the depth of his heart you cry he cries if he is very sincere right and he believe and know that God is attentive to his every word because of his promises to us. He said that he will hear and he will answer our petitions according to his will. And so David is pleading with God and confessing his sin before God and asking God to forgive him of his sin. Now, in verse 3 is very interesting and it's something that we should think about carefully. You know, because we sometimes can be very vindictive towards each other and we are petty and we, we knick-knock everything that someone does to us. Yeah. So, we find it so hard to forgive and we... If somebody does us something, we, we hold it over their head for all eternity. But yet still we say that we want God to forgive us. Now, think about it. What if God wasn't a merciful God? What if God mark every iniquity that we have ever committed? And I know there's a book of records yes that mark our sins and mark everything that we have ever done but what i mean is that what if god was knocking those things that we do and he chose not to forget them remember in, in the scripture it says that what when god forgive us he what he forget it it's like we have never sinned, a clean slate. Now, what if he didn't do that? What if he said that, okay then, yes, Ryan, you told a lie. And every single day, he reminds me that I tell a lie. Huh? And he doesn't forgive me. He doesn't show me any mercy. And he just keep punishing me with that reminder that 
I have sinned, I have sinned, I have sinned, I have sinned, and there is no hope of redemption for me. Kind of like what the devil does, but yet still we still spread in bed with the devil. But what if God was like that? Do you think any of us would be here today? Huh? Not one of us would be alive. Because the moment we slip, we slide. As we slip up, God will just knock us out. So what if God was a petty God? Huh? What, he, what if he was a vindictive God? What if he was a spiteful God? These are the things that we need to think about sometimes. Because these are the things that we do to each other. We are spiteful. We are petty. We, we knick-knock everything that, you know, it's, it's so sad sometimes. The way we treat each other. But yet still, we still want to identify with God who has none of these characteristics. That doesn't make any sense to me. But, hey, I don't know. Maybe it does make some sense to you. And so, this morning, the servant of the Lord, David, is thankful for God's mercy. And so am I. Right? And I, you know, every morning that I wake up, you know, I thank God. And I confess my sins before God. Every day. Right? And in fact, I need to do it even more. Because God is too good to us, friends. God is too good. In the morning when we rise, we need to thank Him. In the evening when we lay down, we need to thank Him. Throughout the day, we need to thank Him. And we need to, you know, pour out ourselves at His feet. And we need to confess our sins and have that confidence knowing that He will forgive us and He will what? cleanse us because what his mercy is plenteous right and he have offered us redemption redemption from sin and redemption from death from death god is here to save us why do we think he came and died on calvary's cross it was to save us so whatever God did and are still and is still doing, He's not just doing it because, you know, on a whim. Or he's just, you know, okay, let me do this. All of this, it it's it it's it went through careful planning and thought process. Right? He did it because he loves us. He wants to save us. And as I said before, he has the power to destroy and to create. And so he could have chosen to destroy Adam and Eve when they sinned. He could have chosen to destroy the devil when he sinned. But no, he didn't do that. He offered them mercy. And even when he offered them mercy, right? Not every one of them accepted. The devil didn't accept. And that is why we are in the position that we are in today. Because the devil did not accept God's mercies and his grace when it was extended to him. He chose to continue in rebellion. And so some of us are the same today we are refusing god's mercy and we are continuing in our rebellious ways but i tell you this that one day mercy door is going to close now the question remains where will you be when that day come will you be on the inside with god or will you be on the outside with the rest of those who rebel against him? And so, choose your pill. 
Do you want salvation? Or do you want destruction? May God help us to choose wisely to accept His grace and to accept His mercies because He's there with outstretched arms to receive us if we only reach out and touch Him. May God continue to bless us and keep us in Jesus' name. Amen.